Get up. You're on my side of the bed. Peter. We act like we didn't take a lot from The Simpsons. We took a lot from The Simpsons. Damn it. I've been doing a lot of thinking recently about what certain shows are about. Not literally, but more thematically. What is in the subtext of a lot of these long running shows? King of the Hill might be about a family living in Texas, sure, but it's thematically about a man struggling to connect with his son that's growing up in a new generation that he doesn't fully understand and is consistently changing. That's at least an abridged version. My homeboy Johnny talked about it a few times. But I wanted to turn this conversation to a different show. Family Guy. The 1999 Seth MacFarlane cartoon with random cutaways, inconsistent characters, and a one-year-old having a fucking dog's kids. Hey, I went by your house the other day. Is your baby pregnant? What exactly is this cartoon about? A show that, if you ask them niggas, has never won any awards. Hey, that's no fair. I don't got none of them. 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 Real quick, today's video is actually brought to you by the service Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes covering dozens of different creative topics, all taught by well-versed professionals. Have a specific skill that you're trying to learn? Well, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography to illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. I know I have a lot of new things that I want to try out, and Skillshare helps me do that. Speaking of writing, be sure to check out Storytime 101 character, conflict, content, and craft taught by Daniel Jose Older. Character writing is hard OD, and they'll definitely give you some tips so that your characters aren't just funny, but you're feeling something too. When did that happen? We're a little shook. Hell. Don't worry, gang, I got you. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can explore your creativity while having to put the bag up. Might as well get on your big brain shit. As always, just go to the link in the description for a one month free trial. All you gotta do, Go down to the link in the description for a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now, I've always maintained that I think Family Guy is a show about a bunch of performers putting on a show every week. Think Mario, think Mickey, think Looney Tunes. Not only does that explain the inconsistent nature of the characters, but it's showcased to be true multiple times throughout the run, whether it be in an actual episode or how the theme song is just a big Broadway illusion. But if this is true, right, the show that these characters are creating, what's that about? There has to be something going on thematically, right? How could you run for this long without a theme? I think that there are two episodes that you can point to that can clearly tell you what Family Guy is about. And I think the coolest thing about those episodes is that they come from the first and last season. These are season one's I Never Met the Dead Man and season 20's 80's Guy. In I've Never Met the Dead Man, Peter crashes into the town satellite while teaching Meg how to drive, which knocks out all of the TV and Quahog. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just plain don't like black people. Boom, bad. Rest in piston, nigga. Fuck, Fuck out my face. My face. <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? <laughs> Peter goes nuts after not having TV, and he ultimately learns how to live a life without it. He spends time with his family, goes out more, actively enjoys his life. The episode does end with him falling back in love with television, but notice this character turn. If you take television out of the equation, he's practically just a normal guy. A guy that actually cares about his family and the people around him. Now with 80s guy, right, it still brushes against Peter's obsession with television and movies, primarily from the 80s, but it also challenges what happens not when you take this stuff away from Peter, but when you tell him that it's wrong. Which honestly has been a consistent thread throughout the entire run of the show. Dad, what are you saying? I don't like what the world is! I'm white! When's it gonna be our turn? 80s Guy is about Peter putting Chris onto some 80s movies after he asks him for like dating advice or something like that. Which ultimately leads to him getting into trouble because... The movies... Uh, the movies are fucking nasty, bro. Like real shit. When the last time y'all saw Weird Science? Hey, brother. What's happening, my main man? 
right on. Now, Peter, your 80s nostalgia isn't funny anymore. It's tired and worn out and borderline dangerous. I mean, those old references just don't play the same in today's world. When are you gonna let the 80s go? And throughout the episode, we see Peter trying to find a different decade to latch onto. Literally any other one that isn't this one. He does everything but stay present in this time. He needs some kind of like old media or old lifestyle, right, to model himself after and latch onto. You're right, Lois. No matter how hard I try, I'll never find a decade as good as the 80s, like you just said just now. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. Because I feel like with the context of both of these episodes and what they're about and the journey that they take Peter on, it creates a very interesting picture of what Family Guy is truly about thematically. Keep in mind that both of these stories are tied into media that Peter consumes, primarily television. That's why most episodes early on start with them watching television. That's why there's a TV in the logo. While the very first line of the theme song is a fourth wall breaking question about the state of television in general. Family Guy, I think, is a show about a guy that grew up watching television at a very specific time. And the same man uses the same values and lessons and tones of these very same shows that he grew up idolizing and tries to apply them in present day while raising his family. But he doesn't take into account that times change, things move on, values evolve and normally are challenged, and life just doesn't always work like how you see it on TV. And sometimes the things we grew up with were just wrong. Archie Bunker was always dead wrong. We've culturally moved past thinking the Fonz is cool. Love the honeymooners to death, right? But I will never be cool with the fact that this nigga threatening to beat his wife was just a running gag. <laughs> to the moon, Lois! To the moon? What, what does that mean? You know, to, to the moon. Okay, you're threatening to punch me so hard, I'm gonna fly to the moon? Like, like it's funny to hit me so violently, my body will fly out of the atmosphere. Well, it's not funny anymore. What happens when Peter cuts TV out of his life? He spends time with his family, he actually becomes a father. Suddenly, his judgment isn't so clouded and he can see everything that's right in front of him. It's almost as if he's like what people think television does to the youth. Just cause you stop being crazy about one decade doesn't mean you have to be crazy about another. How about you just be a normal human being for once, huh? Just be a, be a husband to your wife, be a father to your children. But Peter is also nostalgic. He's so stuck in the past values that he was taught through TV because that's all he's ever had to make sense of the world. When these values are challenged, he doesn't understand how to deal with it or why they're even wrong. And while I think the show doesn't always tell him why they're wrong, it definitely tells the audience. I guess in a way too, the theme song is literally Peter's play. I used to think it was kind of like an irony thing. The idea of being upset with all the violence in movies and sex on TV while showcasing oh, both yeah, of them. Like and to be honest, it could still be that. But just off the first line, it's Peter and Lois asking, why aren't things like they used to be? Where did all of the old school TV dads go? What happened to all of the values that we grew up on? Well, lucky for us, there's somebody who still lives by those values. I think Family Guy is saying that a lot of the values that we grew up on are really toxic and when applied to your actual family would not fly. It would lead to chaos similar to the chaotic nature of how he treats his children, his wife, and just this cartoon in general. It's a show about what happens when you turn to television or movies for your lessons instead of living your life adapting and learning from your experiences. It's about what happens when you're overly nostalgic and not present. What happens when you rely on television for good old fashioned values. I swear, I don't be like doing these videos as a way to kind of like talk y'all into liking Family Guy no shit like that, but I don't know. I just think that this shit is cool. How something you wouldn't think had all of this subtext going on, consistently had it for 20 years. Oh my God, Chris is out of control. I know, must be all the violence in movies and sex on TV. Oh. Sing I listen. <laughs> <laughs> Or it could just be a fucking stupid cartoon, man. Fuck out. <laughs> yeah, I think what you want, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You already watched the video, biatch. So what's it gonna be, him or me? We can cruise the world with pearls, gator boots for girls. 
The envy of all women, crushed linen, Cartier wristwear with diamonds in them. The finest women I love with the passion. Your man's a wimp, I get that ass a good thrashing. High fashion, flying in the all states, sexing me while your man masturbates. Isn't this great? Your flight leaves at eight, her flight lands at nine. My game just rewinds. Lyrically, I'm supposed to represent. Yeah, I wanna do it scary movie style. Like, <laughs> 